Ziggo, mate, you've got a lot to answer for on this one. Today's FIFA 17 experiment video sees us put a full team of Fellainis to the test, and I'm going to be doing this on three different fronts. First of all, I'm going to be simulating matches with Fellaini playing in every single position, including goalkeeper, where he's 18 rated. Then I'm going to play a game with the team of Fellainis to see how I get on with them, and for the final part of today's experiment, we'll once again be putting the Fellainis to the test in simulated action, but this time with an actual goalkeeper in net. And for the goalkeeper, there's really only one man with the right hair for the job. And that's the fastest goalkeeper in FIFA 17 Ultimate Team, Guillermo Ochoa. Now then, if you're new to the channel and want to see more FIFA 17 experiment videos from me, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And if you do go on to enjoy this video, drop it a like as well. Your support is always massively appreciated, and it really does mean a lot to me. Before I get going with the experiment though, I just want to say a massive thank you to OneFootball for sponsoring today's video. I receive a lot of emails from different companies each week. Usually though, I don't go ahead with promoting their services, either because I don't personally believe in them, or because I don't feel that they'd be a good fit for the channel. With OneFootball however, I feel that this app ticks the box on both fronts. It's a fantastic app that I personally find extremely useful, plus it's a service that I really do feel that you could get a lot of value out of as well. The OneFootball app provides news, transfer information, stats and in-match updates for over 160 leagues around the world. You can set your own personal preferences for what clubs and leagues you'd like to follow and you can activate push notifications as well, just to make extra sure that you don't miss any of the latest updates with your favourite club. It was through the One Football app, for example, that I today found out about Manchester United's semi final match against Salta Vigo. I'd completely forgotten about the draw, if I'm honest, but thankfully the app was there for me and it let me know about it. You can even customise it to receive news about certain players of interest as well. Basically, if you're wanting to find out the latest football news, check results, watch highlights and keep up to date with all the latest goings on with your favourite clubs and divisions, the One Football app is well worth checking out. It's completely free to download and you can find a link to the app in the description down below. Right then, time to introduce you to the Fellainis. In goal we've got Mad Dog Fellaini, at right back we've got Muff Muff Fellaini, in centre back we've got Meatball, Man Flu and Mugshot Fellaini, Milkshake Fellaini is playing at left back, at CDM we've got Mophead Fellaini, Marouan Fellaini and Motorboating Fellaini. We've also got Malwan Fellaini at striker alongside Malteser Fellaini, and then we've got Menace in Fellaini on the bench, Mother Fellaini, Mudblood Fellaini, Man Beast Fellaini, Mixtape Fellaini, Mothball Fellaini, Monobrow Fellaini, Richard Lee Fellaini, my personal favourite, Menstrual Fellaini, Mini Fridge Fellaini, and finally, Magic Marker Fellaini. And you may or may not have noticed, but all of the created Fellainis only have 50 composure. The reason for that is that you can't edit that stat unfortunately, so all of the other stats are exactly the same, they've all got the same height and weight as Fellaini as well, they're all Belgian, they've all got massive afros, and they're all probably terrible, so let's get going with it and let's see what happens. It's bad enough just playing with one Fellaini most of the time, imagine how much destruction a full team of them could cause. And we've not even made it to the start of the season yet, and Man Flu Fellaini is already skiving. Supposedly he sprained his knee and he's out for the next three weeks. I don't really trust it. With a name like Man Flu, he is probably faking it, but there you go. It's a good job we created some spares. Time for the first game of the season now then. We're taking on Leicester City in the Community Shield. And I've got high hopes for this one. We do have Fellaini in goal, so we might concede a few, but I reckon we can score a few as well. And we actually win a penalty shootout. I was not expecting that to be honest, I know I said that I thought we would do alright, but I was kind of lying. Fellaini did miss a penalty, which makes sense because his penalty ability isn't the best, but yeah, then he went on to win the shootout, so don't really understand that to be honest. Missed penalty in 90 minutes, won the shootout. Go figure, a milkshake's gone missing now, at least it's only for a couple of days. Right then, time for the first league game of the season. Can we build upon that Community Shield victory and beat Bournemouth? Nope. Still though, I've got high hopes for game two. We're taking on Southampton and we're gonna win this one. This team is clearly on its way to the championship. I thought we were gonna do alright after that Community Shield win, but nope. We've got a team of Fellainis and they are completely terrible. In the third game though, we're taking on Hull. 
Both Manchester United with a team of Fellaini's and Hull currently have no points whatsoever. And after this game, Hull have three points and Manchester United still have zero. Great. And it's not getting any easier either. We've now got to take on Manchester City in the Manchester derby. We've lost three games in a row. Can we win this one though? Nope, we've lost 3-0. So far, the Fellaini's have been completely and utterly terrible. Maybe the Europa League is more their thing though, and they can pick up a victory in this first game. I've got high hopes for the Fellaini's, come on lads. 2-2 Two -two draw, I'll take it. I'm not so happy with that one though, it's another defeat in the league. Will the team of Fellaini's ever win a match in 90 minutes? Let's wait and see. So far though, the early signs are not looking promising. We can beat Chelsea in the EFL Cup though apparently, and it's not like they even put out a bad team. We won on penalties once again. I don't know how the Fellaini's are doing it, but they just seem to be absolutely smashing it in penalty shootouts. Okay, that was unexpected. The Fellaini's have finally picked up a win in the league. We've beaten Leicester, the defending champions, and it's a 1-0 victory with Fellaini number 26 scoring. Can we build upon that victory in the Europa League though? Can we pick up back-to-back -back victories? That would be unheard of to be honest, but you never know. It could happen. It doesn't though, we lose 4-1. I reckon we can win this one though. We're taking on Stoke and it's got to be a victory in the bag for the Fellaini's. Come on lads, I believe in you. You can get this done or not. Lose 1-0. It's a big game now though, boys. You can't be losing at Anfield to Liverpool. That just wouldn't be on. Unfortunately though, we pick up a 3-0 defeat. And I've just realised that after coming back from injury, Man Flu Fellaini was out again. That guy is such a slacker. Menacing Fellaini isn't really living up to his name though. He sprained his knee and he's out for the next week. Not so menacing now mate are ya? I've still got high hopes that the Fellaini's can get through their Europa League group. It's not a difficult one. The team of Fellaini's can get the job done. Or maybe not, they've lost 1-0 to Salta Vigo. And Fellaini has missed yet another penalty. We keep winning shootouts, but every time Fellaini gets a penalty in 90 minutes, he misses it. What is that all about? Chelsea have absolutely crushed us. At this point, it comes as no surprise. The Fellaini's are finally finding their feet though. They've beaten Barnsley in the EFL Cup, and maybe we can go on to win it. Probably not though. Come on boys, we've got a chance to overtake Burnley here if we can pick up a victory. I believe in you. You can do this. It's going to be a victory for the Fellaini's. No, it's not, is it? Despite the fact that we're playing with a team of Fellaini's though, we might still qualify in the Europa League, so if we can do that, that would be quite something. And congratulations to Marouane, Mudblood and Mini Fridge Fellaini for making the Belgian national team. I'm not congratulating that though, that is pathetic. Okay, a draw, I'll take that. Fellaini number 15 has scored two goals and so did Santi Cazorla. And Fellaini didn't even miss any penalties in that one. Progress. I take it all back. We've just lost to 10 men to a team that I've never even heard of. EFL Cup quarter finalists though. Pretty decent. Middlesbrough knocked out Oxford in the last round I think it was. I saw it flash up on the screen. So I want to win this one. Come on lads. Okay we're 1-0 down and we lose 2-0. I swear that Menace in Fellaini and Manflu Fellaini are the only players that ever pick up injuries. Everton will just be pointing and laughing at you now Fellaini. What have you done there? And that's not exactly a good result either, is it? And I'm pretty sure we're about to get sacked. So here's the league table. 13 games played and we've only picked up 4 points. Arsenal are top. They're 14 points clear of Chelsea. And I have no idea what's happening here. We're taking on West Ham next though. So you never know. We might win this one and we might save our job. Come on Fellaini's, you can do this. I believe in you. I don't believe in you at this point. I've given up on you to be honest. No one believes in you. But you do get a draw. Not looking promising really, is it lads? A 4-0 defeat against Crystal Palace is probably enough to get anyone sacked. Let's face it. Or not. My manager rating went up. Go figure. No though, I don't want the Wales job. You can't even scout Wales for youth players. I hope that changes in FIFA 18, but for now, not interested. That has to be it now though. We lost 4-0 to Crystal Palace in the last game, and now we've lost 6-0 to West Brom. If they don't fire me, I'll lose all faith in FIFA 17. Not that I've got much left at this point, but yeah, any remaining faith that I've got in this game will be lost. You've lost me, FIFA 17. 
You've completely and utterly lost me. And even the Fellaini's are sick of things now. 11 of them want out. Spurs at home now though. I reckon we might win this one. And there we go. We've taken a 1-0 lead in the 4th minute. Okay, they brought it back. And it's a 1-1 draw. Kyle Walker got sent off. And I will take that point very happily. You can't follow that up by losing against Sunderland though, lads. And you even conceded a goal to a guy called Gooch. Seriously. 6 points from 18 matches. I thought you'd do better than this, Fellaini. 7 points from 19 matches is a bit better though. With an 89th minute equaliser from the main man, Fellaini. Well, the only man, Fellaini, actually. It's all gone horribly wrong again, though. We've lost to West Ham. We've officially hit a new low with that one, though. We lost to Morecambe. Yet we get a point against Liverpool. I do not understand this game. With 8 points from 21 games, though, and a manager rating of 35, I reckon that this is the end of the line. We're about to get sacked. The Fellainis are probably going to lose again. It's 4-0 to Stoke, and that has to be it. Yet somehow it wasn't. The manager rating now stands at 32. How much worse can this get? At what point are they going to turn around and sack me? I'm starting to think that they're never going to sack me. Even if we lose this game, which we don't. We pick up a 1-1 draw. But against Hull, not the best result in the world really, is it? And is that it? It's not. We've still got a job. Probably not anymore though. Arsenal are still smashing it. And we still suck. 9 points from 24 matches. And they're still not sacking me. That has to be it though. A 3-2 defeat against 10-man Watford at Old Trafford. Game over. Seemingly the board still believes in me though. And somehow we've made it to March. We've got 9 points from 25 games. We've got a manager rating of 28. And yet somehow we still have a job. The Fellainis have been terrible. And now we're taking on Bournemouth. Can we win this one? Nope, we've lost 3-0. And is that going to be the final game? Possibly not at this point. I have no idea what's going on. And I'm starting to wonder if they're ever going to sack me. Yep, okay, fair enough. I've been fired. I don't know why it's taken you so long though. And the final record for the full team of Fellaini's was 9 points. 26 matches, 1 win, 6 draws and 19 defeats. With a goal difference of minus 48. Pretty embarrassing, but... What do you really expect from a team full of Fellainis? Time for the second part of today's experiment now then. And the good news is that Mad Dog Fellaini has gone up to a 19 rating. He's still terrible, but at least he's a bit better now. Let's get into this Community Shield game against Leicester then, and let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can pick up a victory, but you just never know. Wow, look at that hair and boot combination. That is hideous. And the gameplay's probably not going to be much better either. Playing with a full team of Fellainis. Let's see what happens. Here come the Fellainis then, shaking hands. They've all got different colour hair. I thought I'd change things up a bit. Okay, some of them do have the same colour hair. There's three green-haired ones in a row there. But sadly, there aren't enough hair colours to have them all with different colours. So we've got a few green Fellainis. A couple of blue ones. And we've even got a ginger one as well. Let's see what they're made of. Yes, Fellaini, good challenge. He's working his way up the pitch. Blue-haired Fellaini. He's gone past his man. He's going to go for goal. We've won a corner. Fellaini's going to play this one short to Fellaini. What can he do here? He's won us another corner. Right, let's try that again. But let's actually do something with it this time. Let's play it to the edge of the box to Fellaini. He smashes it. Good stop by the keeper. Fellaini follows up and misses an open goal. Typical. Ginger Fellaini's on the attack now then. Plays that to Greyhead Fellaini. What can he do here? He's so slow. They're all so slow. They've got the exact same stats as Fellaini. So, yeah. Bit painful, to be honest, to play with them. But there you go. They've all got good strength. And look at him go. He looks quick. Until I control him. Then he's really slow. Oh, look at him go, though. Nice little bit of play there from Fellaini. And then he loses it. It drops for Ginger Fellaini. Not a bad strike. Here comes Vardy now then. He checks back. He's looking to take it past Fellaini, but he can't get the job done. Fellaini's just too good for him. Vardy's going to cross this one over as he plays it on the ground instead. It's dropped for them, and it's 1-0. Of course it is. Fellaini's in goal. He has no idea what he's doing, and Leicester have capitalised. Keep your heads up, though, Fellaini's. You can get back into this game. I believe in you. When I'm in control of you, I reckon you can win that. That is a lovely ball through. Not a great finish, though. Oh, no. Mendy's through on goal. Well, they're going to make it 2-0. No, they're not. What a challenge. Good work, Fellaini's. We're on the attack once again. Fellaini's running through. He's got no pace whatsoever, though. And, oh, look at him go. Oh, he's lost it. Ginge tinge Fellaini's on the ball now, then. Looking for support. He sees grey-haired Fellaini. Yet, yeah, he just plays it off the pitch. 
What are you thinking, Ginge? Oh, no, lads. Oh, well done. Good challenge. Oh, the Fellainis are brilliant at defending. They can't attack and they've got no pace whatsoever. But in defence, they are solid. We have conceded, but that's because we've got Fellaini in goal. But yeah, Ginger Fellaini loses it. It's okay, though. We've won it back with Fellaini. He's going to look for Greyhead Fellaini. He cuts that inside, looking for support. Come on, Blue Fellaini. Make the magic happen. Grey Fellaini goes past this man, goes for it. Good stop by the keeper. Right then, let's use our height advantage. Let's cross one over. Decent ball. Keeper punches it clear. Fellaini gets to it. And then it's the halftime whistle. Unlucky lads. 1-0 at halftime. More shots, more possession. No goals though, unfortunately. Leicester have got a free kick now. If they get this on target, it's probably going to be a goal. Thankfully though, it was wide. And it looked like he had it covered to be fair. So yeah, maybe I need to show Fellaini a bit more faith in goal. He knows what he's doing, I think. Anyway, let's play that to Grey Fellaini, and then let's get something going here. We've moved that along to the real-life Fellaini. He plays it to Ginger Fellaini, looks out wide to Grey Fellaini. He's going to move that down the line to Blue Fellaini, and this is a good bit of play here, but then we lose it. They've moved it out wide to Mares now then. What are they going to do here? Oh, it's too easy for them. What on earth was that? How on earth has that found Jamie Vardy? That is the weirdest pass I've ever seen. I'm not too sure what he was going for, but it's worked out. He's made it 2-0, and I'm just confused, to be honest. I don't really know what they were doing in the box there. He just seemed to slide for it, and I thought he was confused. But, yeah, seemingly spotted Jamie Vardy, made a perfect pass, and Leicester have made it 2-0. Fair play to him. Fellaini's holding on to the ball now then, plays that to Fellaini, who moves it on to Fellaini. He's not quite sure what he's doing, but he does eventually remember that he's meant to be playing football, and then he loses it. I've kind of given up on the Fellainis at this point, they're so slow, and they're never going to make anything happen whatsoever. Let's just pass it around. Oh, there's a grey-haired Fellaini making a good run there. Come on, lads. Let's cross this one into the box. We've got good height. Let's cross it or just lose it. Fellaini's on it again now then. Plays that through to Fellaini. He's going to turn on this one. Try and smash it in the corner. That is a lovely finish right there. It's 2-1. Brilliant finish from Fellaini. We're back in the game. Let's take another look at this one on the replay. Fellaini passes it to Fellaini, and look at that beautiful strike. Come on, lads, let's play that through. Really nice ball there. Can we get the equaliser here? Smash it into the corner. Good save by the keeper. And we gave it our best shot, but unfortunately, we just didn't have quite enough in the bag to win that one. Last season's champions have won the Community Shield, and we did better in that game when we were simulating. We've lost it 2-1. We nearly equalised late on, but... Didn't quite happen. We've lost to Leicester. And I completely forgot about Milkshake Fellaini missing an open goal. What an idiot. Anyway though, time to repeat the experiment with an actual goalkeeper. Let's see how we do this time. Not off to a bad start. It's a 1-1 draw in the first match. And game two hasn't gone too bad either. We've beaten Southampton 1-0. So far, having a real keeper is definitely making a massive difference. And the Fellainis have got the job done once again. It's a 2-1 victory over Hull. So, with Fellaini in goal, we only got 9 points from 26 matches. Putting a real keeper in there though, we've got 7 from our first 3 games of the season. Fellaini's still playing everywhere else, but with a real-life keeper, we're doing alright. Every team has to lose sometimes though, I suppose. And now we've picked up a 4-1 victory. So far, the Fellainis are absolutely smashing it. Ochoa's got the hair to match, and so far, he's fitting in pretty nicely. And we've picked up yet another victory. Five games into the season, and we've already got more points than the full team of Fellaini's picked up in 26 matches. Powerful. We've made hard work of things in the EFL Cup, but even there, we've picked up a victory in the end. With the Fellaini's winning yet another penalty shootout. Seemingly though, Leicester City is the Fellaini kryptonite. It's alright though, we're quickly back to winning ways. Those winning ways didn't last very long though, sadly. And Fellaini's missed yet another penalty. And now we've been absolutely spanked by Chelsea. At least we're doing alright in Europe though. So far we've won all of our matches. And Mudblood has sadly torn his hip flexor. We don't need no Mudblood. We've won yet another penalty shootout. And now we've beaten Burnley as well. 12 points from 4 matches in the Europa League. There ain't no stopping us in this one. And Swansea can't stand in our way either. We can't beat Arsenal though, unfortunately. At least we're keeping things going in the Europa League. And Fellaini may have been sent off in that one, but it wasn't enough to stop us. We've beaten West Ham 3-2. Once again though, we've been knocked out of the EFL Cup quarterfinals. What is it with this round? Anyway though, 20 points from 13 matches so far. 
in the last one, we only got 9 points from 26. So, yeah, with a goalkeeper, we're definitely doing a lot better. Spurs, however, are still doing terrible. And once again, the Fellainis are being laughed at after losing at Goodison Park. Can we win this final Europa League game though? If we do, we've had a perfect record in this competition. That would be so good. With a team of Fellainis plus a Choa, if we could win six games out of six, I would be delighted. And we've done it. 18 points from six matches. And Fellaini even scored a penalty. And we've beaten Crystal Palace as well. Can't beat West Brom though, unfortunately. At least we've got enough in the tank to beat Sunderland. And that 1-1 draw with Middlesbrough sees us reach the midway point of the season. And currently we're eighth in the table. 28 points from 19 matches with a team of Fellainis plus Ochoa. I think that's pretty good going, to be honest. One win and six draws was our record last time, with 19 defeats. Nine points in 26. This time, though, we're doing a lot better, and we're eighth in the table. I'll take it. Fellaini number 32 is at it again, and we picked up a 1-0 win over West Ham. Can't beat Swansea in the cup, though, unfortunately. And we can't beat Liverpool either. I thought we'd win that one, but nope. Nathan Dyer scored twice. And it's a 2-0 win in the bag for Swansea. Sort it out, Fellainis. This is not good enough. At least we've been able to beat Hull. We've kept some sort of dignity. And finally, we've been able to get the better of Leicester. Well done, lads. Especially you, Fellaini number 32. And we've won again, this time beating Watford. And Copenhagen can't handle the Fellainis either. We've beaten them in both legs. And a draw with Man City isn't too bad either. And I will happily take that win over Bournemouth as well. Have we finally met our match in the Europa League though? This is the first game in this competition that we've not won. And it's another draw this time against Southampton. It's been incredibly tight against Sassuolo, but we've just about scraped by on away goals. Middlesbrough can't handle us, but sadly, it's only a point against West Brom. And it's incredibly tight at the top going into this game against Everton. Hopefully, we can pick up a win here and push ourselves up into the top four. And we have indeed beaten Everton 2-1. Manchester United are struggling in reality to try and make the top four. But seemingly, if they played Fellaini in every position, they could make it. Who'd have thought? Come on lads, no one loses to Sunderland. At least we've beaten Basel anyway. And a draw with Chelsea isn't a bad result either. And just like in real life, we're through to the Europa League semi-finals. Only this time, we've done it with a team of Fellainis. Can't beat Burnley though apparently, and Michael Keane has scored against us. Mate, why do you have to do us dirty like that? And we can't beat Swansea either. Hopefully though, we can still get the job done in the Europa League. We're taking on Villarreal. Can we pick up a victory here in the away leg? That would be a nice start. Come on boys. 1-0 defeat. Another one. And we've now been knocked out of the Europa League at the semi-final stage. It was only on away goals though. And considering that we got a team of Fellainis, I reckon we've done alright. Losing to Spurs however... That is just simply unacceptable. And I was hoping for a good finish to the season, but nope. We've lost 2-1 to Palace. And Marouane Fellaini clearly dropped away at the end of the season. He finished up as the 24th top scorer. We did have the 10th best assist provider though in Fellaini. And in 11th position, we had Ochoa keeping 7 clean sheets. Not bad. So when Fellaini was playing every single position... Understandably, he was a terrible goalkeeper and we only picked up 9 points from 26 matches. When we replaced him in goal with Ochoa though, we got 55 points from 38 games. Pretty solid. We were 9 points behind the top 4 but could have been worse. Burnley only got 24 points and we finished in 8th position with a team of Fellainis. I would take that. I don't think they'd do that in reality. What do you reckon? Thanks for watching, leave the video a like if you've enjoyed it, and I'll catch you again next time.